Hey guys, welcome to game one of set three between Rancor and Masuchi, and thus far it has been a fun one. Each player now has one set apiece. This is Fighting Spirit Mania. Upper right hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Purple Zerg. Upper left hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Blue Zerg. Special shout out to LML for organizing this tournament in particular. I feel like LML and Zero just heroes in the community. They're the guys who I feel like are making a lot of this stuff happen. There's also uh, OXT and a lot of the Caster Muse, a lot of that sort of action happening too. It's really frustrating for me actually because I've been invited to do a bunch of extra tournament casting of some really amazing games, but I just don't have the time window to do it. It's one of those things where it's just sad and they're like, hey, do you want to cast Scan versus Terror? And I'm like, oh, I want to cast that game. Yes, but I can't because whatever. These are frustrations I've been having in the background, just for a bit of commiseration. Masushi looks like he's going to get that initial Overlord Scout as that uh, as it's making that uh, <laughs> scout this direction. But yeah, LML. Um, actually, let me just throw up while we have a quick thing. Uh, Wind Beach Man Esports Fun and LML were the main sponsors for this event. I just want to throw that out there somewhere before I uh, missed it all together. Whoa, black screen <clears throat> for half a second there. Wanted to make sure that the sponsors got, especially Wind Beach Man. Initially, this was just introduced as a meme, and then they made it happen. Special thanks to Esports Fund at large for a lot of the background sponsors. But as far as tournaments and things like this, I would love to see an influx of money from the community at large. And I think that where that should be really focused right this second is in BSL, especially because Zero is taking huge risks to go full time doing that. Rancor opening up looked like uh, is he still on? Yeah, that was in. I think that was a nine pool and overlord and gas before anyway wow so sorry i wasn't paying as paying as much attention there opposite side i think this was a 12 pool <clears throat> or 11 pool over pool potentially uh huh. didn't get a good look at it hatchery at the natural expansion and the zerglings already moving out so the Overlord is going to see those Zerglings already on the way. Six Zerglings are being produced, but honestly, these Zerglings might be able to get a significant amount of damage down to that hatchery before Masuchi is able to respond. And more Zerglings are on the way. Zergling speed also being upgraded. So this is just going to be pure Zerglings for Rancor, making their way across the map. Drones are going to have to pull off the line to help defend this. So the initial Zerglings getting there looks like they're going to get some free damage. Let's see if they back off. Able to get some distance concavity right there. Battle drones on the line. Rancor eating a bit of free damage as he's backing out of this. But he is somewhat dedicated. Needs to regroup with the rest of the Zerglings he's got. Lair morphing. Zergling speed there as well. Masuchi is basically mining with three drones. Keep in mind in the midst of this. Or sorry, down three drones. So he's at seven drones effectively. Rancor trying to patiently take some damage on the corner. Masuchi has superior numbers as he's making way across. The question is for how long. Able to get a little bit of concavity advantage right there, but a drone getting picked off in the meantime. The Zerglings continue to engage for Rancor. It looks like they are going to get cleaned up, but they were able to take out two drones in the midst of that, which is putting Rancor up in the overall economy. That drone now going to go ahead and back off. And four, four Zerglings still here in the natural expansion working on that egg. They might want to just back off at this stage of things, but that, well, or run into the ramp to create some distraction. Supply count's dead even. Drone count dead even. However, Spire is now being built. Rancor needs to hold his ramp. And Masuchi nowhere near, nowhere near Spire. So he's going to need to drop an evolution chamber to pull ahead in this match. I think Rancor has actually maybe got an advantage here. Masuchi not running in to go ahead, and I think that might have been a bait to try to press this ramp. If Rancor is once again one of these situations, if he can hold his ramp and get that Spire up, two Zerglings able to slip through. They are going to see that Creep Colony being built. Is he going to be able to get a drone in the midst of this? He's at the very least able to disrupt some mining time. The rest of the Zerglings now encroaching. Rancor once again up a drone with that Sunk Colony up. I don't think Masuchi's, unless he just goes for, gets a lot more Zerglings here, he's going to be able to press this. And let's see if, yeah... Rancor trying to force fights, trying to bait these Zerglings back. But it is only a moment before this Spire finishes, and Mutals are going to be in the air. So if Masuchi's going to win this, he needs to pull the trigger and get a big win of a fight here. The Zerglings trying to engage that Sunken Colony, but having difficulty doing so. 
the rest of the Zerglings engaging, but Masuchi looks like he might just have too many Zerglings. The drone's coming off the line to try to defend this. Six Zerglings, five Zerglings, four Zerglings, and Rancor calling GG right there. So Masuchi finding the perfect timing and the perfect amount of Zerglings to scoot in before the Mutalists were able to pop. And great play by Masuchi to take game one of set three. Amazing play. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Really nice play from Masuchi. Thanks for listening.